Hey, what's going on guys? Mercy Salinas with DiscountLowVoltage.com and today we're going to go over the CT30. This is a precision cleaver. I'm going to give you an overview. You can also order all this stuff at our web store DiscountLowVoltage.com and don't forget to Facebook us. Now let's check it out. Okay, so we cracked the cleaver, the package open, and what's included, you have your instructions here. And this is basically I'm going to want to lose this. This lets you know everything you need to know about this cleaver, how to make the blade adjustment, fiber scrap collector, all that good stuff. Now what else is included, you'll notice there's some additional screws here and an Allen wrench. This little Allen wrench, we'll play with that later, but this, this is pretty much the only tool we need with this cleaver. You have two scrap bins. There's a, one of the small ones, actually the small one, and then you have your larger one here. Now I want to take a look at this, uh, give you another look here. You'll notice there's a knob here, and you might be thinking, what is that for? Well, let's crack open the box. Now if you're doing a large fiber job with a lot of strands, you're going to want to use this bin. You'll notice there's some brushes in there, and that's going to help you move the cleaved part of the glass that you're not using into the collector. I'll show you how to put that on a little bit. Then you have another piece here. Now what this basically does, I'll install this for you also, but there is, you'll notice there's a gear right here. This pops into the cleaver and it attaches to a gear inside of the cleaver and it rotates this bottom wheel here. This tab right here opens up, you attach it, you make your cleave, when, it, when you release your cleaver you'll see it. The blade will, this wheel will roll back pushing the cleave fiber into your scrap bin. This wheel will come down really fast to go ahead and make sure it stays into place and goes where it needs to go. We'll put this on also in a little bit. And we have our cleaver. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is our high precision cleaver, the CT30. And basically this will do your single mode and your multi-mode needs, even the 50 micron OM3, OM4 stuff. Now you'll notice on the side here, there's a little latch that locks it down. There we go. That's what the bottom of it looks like. We'll get to this here in a minute. Now what you're going to want to do, there's a blade in there and in order to lock it into place and get it ready to make a proper cleave, you're going to want to push it in here. There it is. You see the blade in there? It's a round blade. We'll crack it open and I'll show you how to make the adjustment to it. And then what you're going to do, there's some... You have your measurement chart there. I want to go ahead and unlock it. Measure it to the proper length to what the fiber optic connector you're installing tells you to. Close it down. Once it's in place, you're going to want the fiber to be a little further than the uh, two tabs there. Push it down. There we go. The blade gets swung back, making a nice precision cleave. Now, that's the gist of it. Now, you might want to also, in the long run, this cleaver, you can do up to 48,000 single fiber cleaves or... 4,012 fiber ribbon cleaves before you have to replace the blade. Now the blade, it is a 16 position blade and I'll show you guys how to go ahead and get a better look at the blade here. We're going to get the Allen wrench out. Okay, now you notice there's a couple screws here on the side. Now this is actually 
a cover. This is a side cover that's installed in case you don't want to use any of the scrap boxes. Some guys will use tape. Okay. Now, you'll notice that there's a couple of blades here. Not blades, excuse me, screws. Now, this screw right here, this is actually to loosen the blade. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is lock it into place. You'll see there's a nice slot for it right there. You're going to put your wrench right in there, give it a counterclockwise turn to go ahead and loosen it so that way you can then rotate that blade. Now the blade is numbered. 16 numbers on it. So you might be thinking, okay, well, how do I move that blade? Well, let's uh, get a better look at it here. Now we're going to have to go ahead and take off another screw here to remove the measure, measuring chart. Measuring chart, sorry. Now, there's also another plastic piece that goes right over this area. Let's take that off. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and take this off. Be careful with it. You know what? Forgot. It's in place. It's locked. Let's close that. Let's make sure that's unlocked. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, it's hard to see. There we go. I think that's a good shot for you. You'll notice there's the there's the blade. Those are replaceable, but forty eight thousand cleaves. That should last you a while, hopefully. So you're going to want to go ahead and loosen that nut. And then you're going to move it to position number two. Okay. Now another thing you notice, now that blade right there, it will from time to time get dull. You're going to have to move it around. Eventually, after thousands and thousands of cleaves, you're going to have to raise the blade. Now how do you do that? Well there's an additional screw over here. You see that? Right in there. That is that keeps the adjustment locked on the height. You're going to want to loosen that. And on the bottom, you can actually turn this no more, I believe, than two times. You see there's a little tiny dot there. You're going to need that to align with the line. You see the arrows pointing at that dot? align that with the next line. You can do that, I believe, two, maybe three times. Double check that. But that raises the blade a little bit, helping to extend the life of the blade and getting the most use out of your tool. So you got your adjustment lock right there. You got your blade lock over here. Now let's check out the scrap bins. Okay, as you notice, we removed the side cover. This piece right there went right there so we can get those attachments. But we're also going to need this off in order to attach the scrap box. Now, keep in mind, the CT30 cleaver, this unit right here, this is most commonly sold for aerospace 
industries, defense industries, energy, utility, mining. Uh, this is a high-end fiber optic cleaver. So it's, it's definitely, uh, if, if you have a business where you want to expand it as a contractor or if you're doing a lot of your own stuff at a data center, this is probably the tool you're going to need to handle all your needs. Okay. Now, this additional piece right here, notice there's a gear there. We're going to pop it into the side. Now in there, see that? When we release it, after we make our cleave, we release it. It makes the gear move, pushing our scrap into our bin. Now let's go ahead and install it. You notice there's also a little pin there. This pin goes right in there, and it lets the, uh, the cleaver, it's tied into it internally, but it lets the scrap bin know when to shut. It's pretty easy to attach, just like that. And we just need to replace the same screws that we had for the side cover. Okay, we got our attachment put in place. Now as you can tell when you squeeze it in it opens the rollers. Once it locks you're going to squeeze it. See that? When you, After you cleave it you release it. it. It's just got done cleaving that glass. You don't need it everywhere. The rollers spin it into place. There we go. Stays where it needs to go, goes into the scrap bin. So you have two scrap bins. You have a small one here. You're only doing a couple strands. Just go ahead and pop that in there just like that. You remove it when it's full. There it is. And then of course, you have your larger one. Pop that into place. There it is. Don't forget, give it a wheel, give the brushes some time to go ahead and move the extra scraps into the bin. If you have any questions, call us. Number here is 888-797-3697. And you can also order all this stuff at discountlowvoltage.com. Thank you.